Yo, 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 what's going on? It's Aaron Baz here again. So I'm back with another sound design tutorial. This one is taken from Synth Hacker, who's a sound design uh, YouTuber on here, and he recreated this sound. It's an old okay Tornada synth bass from his remix of Janet Jackson, If. We're gonna be recreating within a stock VST plugin. It's called Alchemy, it's in Logic Pro X. Again, like the last video that I had. So if you want the preset, hit me up within the comments. I'll be able to link you up with a link from Dropbox or something like that. I think the link expires, so it'll be like per, you know, a person that asked me and stuff like that, I'll hook you up. But in the future, I'll be able to find like a way I can link you guys up in the description box where the link does not expire. So anyway, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's get it. See, I'd already made them and saved them as presets over here. But we're gonna start from scratch, obviously. So, two different versions I started with, and I'll show you kind of what I did in those two different versions and stuff. So, let's see. Um, here I had the stems for the original song, you know. I muted obviously the bass so we can have that as reference. So, when we get to like right here. You can hear it better with, you know, when the drums are in there usually. But I can reference one of my ones that I made. Yeah, so it's pretty much there. So what we're going to start with. Mute that bass in there. Let's mute that. All right. First things first, we're going to start with opening your alchemy. So I'm going to start in here software. We'll put alchemy. I'll let you know what I put on the channel effects on there just so you be able to know how to sweeten the sound itself. So let's get into it. Alchemy over here. Mm. Okay, first instance of alchemy. So this is the first way. It's the easiest way of doing it. Uh, the first sound that comes, whatever it is on your alchemy, is going to be different. I'm sure, I think somebody told me that. I'm going to go to file over here. Clear that. I'm gonna go to advanced. Starts with like a little saw, whatever sound it is. We already cleared it, so this should be the initial sound that you get. So, so we want a square wave. So let's do a smooth one, like that. I think that, or what's the basic one? I like the smooth one. We'll go with the smooth one a little bit later. Let me just show you how to make it with like a basic one. So basic, square, and we start with there. Any key. Uh, we'll go to A over here so we can choose because it's on oscillator A. Everything else is turned off as it should be. And then we'll go to A over here. First thing that I want to do, let's go back to global. Go all voices. Let's choose one voice. Uh, on mode, let's do re-trigger because it restarts from every rather than always where, you know, it gives it a little bit uh, punch whenever you, you know, like uh, it's hidden every single time. So I usually want to do re-trigger. This one is optional. I usually want to put the up bend and down bend to like, you know, uh, um, entire octave. Just so whenever you play, that's optional, that part. 
But so anyway, so square from global square and then voices retrigger and then number of voices one. All right, and then let's go to oscillator A over here. Uh, one of the things we're going to do is let's do the filter because we have already the envelope already that let's leave it as is right now. Let's go to first filter. Let's turn that on. Turn it down. Right about right here. Let's have a filter cutoff being modulated by, so right click on it, add modulation, uh, ADSR. We're gonna make a new envelope for it because the first envelope is for the volume, so we won't mess with that. So we got the second right here. So you can scroll like left and right, you know, so we want the second one. We want the second one to modulate the cutoff. So what we already did it by right clicking on here in the filter itself, add modulation. And the second one, uh, we don't want to create it again. So let's just remove that, by the way, because we already did on the first instance. Um, so let's see if we can delete that. Delete. Let's just not enable it at all. All right. So second thing you want to do is turn it all the way down. So it's going to go all the way from the bottom all the way to the end where it's open, right? How you can reduce the amount of that is over here on the right. See that on the left over here, the orange over here. So it goes from here to just this much open, you know, so you can tweak how much you want. Usually for this sound, I was messing around. I got to this point. I just kind of raise it. Increase the drive. I think for the first filter, I chose this one. It's already kind of coming out, as you can hear. You can adjust to taste. Every single time that I made this sound, uh, it came out differently. So um, you can adjust to taste. But what I like about Alchemy is that you can have multiple filters running in serial, serial mode or parallel mode. So... Don't ask me exactly what that means. I think serial is just right right next to each other. It's modulating each other. And then parallel will be running right next to each other. So instead of uh, like a frequency modulation, don't worry about that, what that means. But just follow what I'm doing over here. Filter one, put it kind of like right here. A little bit of re resonance. We're going to be adjusting to taste. Then the second part, turn this on. Leave it as is right here. Increase the drive. Resonance. That ring over there is going to give you that extra knock. Modulate it. And then the third one. I think we're going to lower that. It's already kind of coming out together. All right. Now I want um, I want to have the third envelope over here modulate the global course, which is the tuning. Uh, so we're gonna do like a pitch, like boom, 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 boom. So we're gonna have the third envelope so I'm gonna right click on here add modulation I'm gonna add a new ADSR essentially new one so we can have the third one over here hopefully you're still following along it was not too confusing like I said I will include the preset anyway but so we got third modulation it's too much right but what we're gonna do is reduce the decay sustain So it's going all the way from 12 to like, you know, I think it's like 48 semitones. We're going to keep it right here at zero. I'm going to reduce all the release, sustain, just play with the decay over here.
increase the attack just a little bit just so we can increase this much on the side click on here to max it out and bring it back see it's already coming together let's see what time we got 10 minutes all right um and then i think what i did was i might have reduced the modulation over here on the pitch global pitch Now you can play around with whatever you want. You can go either all the way full. And then that way you can modulate it with the decay. Or you can modulate it through here. Watch this whenever I'm like reducing the amount over here. So I'll keep it for this one. Now just modulate. All right, so it's pretty much kind of it, but you, as you can tell in this oscillator, we're peaking right here. See, it's red, so just reduce just right here, just a little bit, the volume, right? Because we're gonna be able to add distortion on it to make it a little bit thicker and stuff like that. So. Um, Every other part from here is kind of optional. Actually, it, this part is not optional. I'm just just add an effect. What I was doing is uh, I turned it on first and I used Wave Shaper. And then just the default preset is... Sounds kind of good already, but if you go on here and file, there's some other presets. I made mine too mod, uh, modulated. It's, it's mine. It's just what's this one to preamp. And I just increased the gain, you know. And I saved it as a preset. And so now it's just right here. On and off. See? So that way. So the filter is still kind of closed off. So what we're going to do is, let's see what we can do. Add resonance and see how it sounds. Just playing around with. Uh, let's see over here. Uh, maybe we can increase, cut off, click on it, and then these modulation parameters always show what's being modulated. You know, so I clicked on the cut off. Now you can see the envelope for that. If you went to global and clicked on the course, which is a master tuning, see this one pops up which modulates that one. So you can always tell by like right clicking it, add modulation, um, or let's see, show target. That way you can see which one's being modulated by what, but let's go back to this. Let's compare it to the one that we made earlier. It's a little bit shorter. So what are we gonna do? envelope let's reduce the amount click on, on there all right then I think the filter on there Pretty much it. 
I was doing it different every single time. So if I pop uh, open the other one, just compare real quick what I did on that one as far as like the filters. I was just like kind of playing around. So on those filters, I did the first one. Uh, it looked like this. A little bit. See the difference. This is the second one we just made right here. So I'm just going to adjust to kind of match. Resonance wasn't that high on here. The drive wasn't that high. The first one, then the second one, what do we do? So kind of like the sound of that. I think the second one I increased or I decreased the resonance in here. And the drive was a little bit more. And the third one was what did I do on that one? I think I did that. And then, ah, this is the key right here. The resonance. If you do too much, it'll be like this. But you want that little ring, just not too much, you know? It gives you that knock. Too much will be, you know, so you just reduce them up. Little bit too much drive, let's just reduce it. All right, let's just make the entire envelope for the whole thing a little bit shorter. So we're gonna go to AD AHDSR and then we're gonna go scroll through to the first one. The first one is the one for the obviously the oscillator. The second one, remember we did that to modulate the cutoff, um, the filter the first filter right here. Then the third one we did to modulate the master tuning, which is a course over here. So you can get that pitch modulation, um, like boom, 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 you know? So let's go back to the first one, which is the volumes. Now we want to just make sure the synth is, um, a little bit shorter. Let's compare it to the one I made earlier. So, all we have to do is just adjust through there. Uh, first, first things first, reduce that sustain. Then I think I did the release a little bit like that, but then sweet spot is kind of that. It will always sound different, so reduce it right here. You see that waveform, right? You can reduce it right there. You can reduce it right here as well. I was kind of reducing the hold over here, so now it is a so there it is. Let's increase the decay. thing that I did on here um, oh one of the other differences is that I use one of the wave uh, wave tables that synth hacker offered on his download page and stuff like that so um, I think I might offer you if you guys just hit me up in the comment box um, that's what makes the major difference between every single version of this sound that you make it's just a different square uh, wavetable that you use so this is just a basic square so it's going to sound different from this one which is because it's using a different uh moog square base and it's right rather than like a basic square one so you can scroll through a bunch of like other wavetables just so you can see what you like so this is a basic one go to square go to smooth You can increase unison if you want the detail. If you want 
want that. I usually just keep it at one. But if you wanted to import an audio, which is a wavetable, um, you go to here. Hopefully, this is not too confusing. Um, these are where your um, places on your computer are. I have mine on my Samsung T5 SSD. I saved it uh, in my favorites. So this is optional. This is just if you want to change the wavetable. Um, I'm going to look for the synth hacker one. If you sign up at his, uh, I think his website and stuff like that, he offers you like free wavetable downloads and stuff like that with his email. I will offer you this uh, wavetable by itself uh, just so you can be able to load that in if you want to. So you can save it to desktop if it's on desktop and then you can just drag it to right here. Mine, it's on, it's in this folder on here. So I'm going to go to that which I should save that synth hacker as a favorite, but that's a thing for another time, actually. So synth hacker essentials right here, synth hacker wavetables, synth hacker, and then it should be an analog, and it's a Moog square base. Make sure you import it, not as spectral, but as sampler over here. So I'm gonna drag it over here as a sampler, import it, it's gonna change the sound of it. Okay, now this one, because as it's by itself, you have to tune it. So I usually put like a tuner right here. Uh, it's on metering. Um, I probably lost all of you guys at this point, <laughs> but it's okay. Um, let's tune it to, because we're pressing A. Tune, so I'm going to use the fine over here. Now it's perfectly in tune, kind of. You know, but again, you can use the regular square uh, if this is too confusing and whatnot. But uh, but it makes a difference within the sound itself, like how it ends up sounding. You know, this is just with those different square wavetable sound you know so anyway so once you get that to that point even if you go back to load let's do square let's do smooth take off this which is double click double click the tuning and the course you know this is how you sweeten it outside of this distortion on here you can always add a um, mod effects gives you like a little chorus to it. I usually turn it off uh, if I want and then put a compressor on there with a soft clipper, you know, to give it a little bit bite. Um, I was playing around with this vintage one hard knee attack. Slow attack right here, the ratio, I'll just increase it right there. I already saved it as a preset, but I'm just going to show you guys. Um, put the limiter on there. And then distortion, soft clipper. Auto gain, I'm going to And then usually if you got the drums, which I had the drums from the stems, you can side chain to them, you know. And then you let uh, the filter listen to the low end of that those drums, you know. So, for example, let's do let's play where the drums are at right here. See that? It's ducking when the kick goes in because it's listening, so it's automatically side chaining. obviously adjust the side chain by the threshold you know the more you go down here the harder the side chain you know anyway so that kind of thing you can do the side chain multiple different ways this is just with stock plugin 
you could obviously if you have fab filter you can always do it through there as well multi-band i'm not going to show you through that um that'll just be extra time you can always use like a little distortion too if you have that if you have rc20 i saw another cool way to do it add a little distortion on top of the one that we already have so this is optional you don't need this obviously the sound already sounds thick but i'm going to throw this distortion on there and just reduce the low end Either that, the tube one, or the air sounds really good. That's what I've heard. Uh, that's what I found out from playing with it earlier. But again, if you don't have that, you can use either the distortion. But on the compressor, we already got the soft. Without the soft clip. That sounds thick already. I mean, if you want a little bit more volume, you can just get a little gain, makeup gain. You got a limiter, so you'll be good, you know? Like, that's the sound, you know? So uh, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. I am going to put the sound within, within the downloads or whatever. Just ask me, let me know. I can send that to you or I will put it in the description box in the future. So uh, hopefully this wasn't way too confusing. The sound is going to always sound a little bit different uh, every single time you make it. Um, if you get a little bit perfect, I just started working on it today. So, I mean, every single time I'm making it, it's just slight variations. But that is the sound. Let me see if I have one more thing. Um... I was playing on LC20. I showed you the compressor thing. I showed you the tuning. Um, obviously, you want to save it. So if you go to Alchemy, you save as. And I saved like three different versions or four different versions. One of them, I was playing around with this real quick. A glide. Like about, I think it was 21%. Um... I think it sounds kind of cool and I'll save that as a preset as as well. So yeah, that's the sound. Hope you liked the tutorial. Hopefully it wasn't way too confusing. I'll catch you on the next one. This is already way too long. All right, take care. Yep.